Python coding standards. What are Python coding standards? In this video, we're going to be investigating the standards of Python, and we're going to be explaining where you can find these standards. And of course, we're going to be examining these standards that you should be following. The first thing to note here is that these are guidelines. These aren't things that you must follow. And you shouldn't be following these guidelines if they're going to break backwards compatibility in your application. Your code will work without these guidelines. However, your code will be less readable if you don't adopt these guidelines. These guidelines are from the Python Enhancement Proposals or PEP. So what are Python standards? Well, these are a set of guides that will help keep your code readable. They are guides that every developer should follow and their coding standards don't change the behavior of your code. These coding standards make the code more readable to you and other developers. We're going to be looking at PEP 8, which is standards and guidelines, PEP 20, which is the Zen of Python, and you can find other PEPs at python.org forward slash dev forward slash peps. To start with, we're going to be taking a very brief look at some of the coding standards defined in PEP 8. These include the use of spaces per indentation. You should use four spaces. Spaces are preferred over tabs, and please don't mix spaces and tabs together. You should limit your lines to 79 characters and surround top level functions and class definitions with blank lines. Each import should be on a separate line and you should avoid extra white space inside parentheses, brackets and braces. There are many more standards than I've outlined here. I've just selected a couple of standards to give you a flavor of what these standards are like. For more information, please check out pep8.org. PEP20 is more about the Zen of Python. We've already discussed Pythonic code. This is more to do with that. These are 19 rules of Python Zen. They were written by Tim Peters. And please read pep20.org for all of these rules. 